Can we bring that look, yeah. the do rag look, back? You think we get we do that? Happily, you bring it back. Nah, that's I'll all right. Help you. I'll help you. You help? All right. I'm not, the, I'm not doing the red, white, and blue one though. It's no. <laughs> it's so too he much. he does the craziest leg presses in this video. He does like maximum overload where he's got his hands on his knees like that. He puts way too much weight on the press, and then he's like, you can Spotting see his pecs himself. and triceps are just like cranking out reps at the end. But the full body, the movement. load, the load is humongous when he gets it filled up. Oh my goodness! <laughs> it's just bodybuilding reacts, and look what we have. We have Marcus Rule by popular demand. Marcus Rule made in Germany. Remember, like, share, subscribe, comment, and ring the bell. Look at him! Holy cow! This is gonna be a fun <laughs> one. We have listened. The people have spoken. Ron gave they some timestamps on this too. Yeah, they asked for wanna, Marcus Rule made in Germany. Where do you want to go here? You got let's the you, check you out, back. Let's check out the back workout for a bit. All right, all right. Here's the back workout here. Boom. Oh, all right. <laughs> right to it. Starting with some. So There's I just want people to like see how huge Marcus was in the gym back then. So what year is this video? I can't remember. Made in Germany. Oh. I I'll find right. out. I've, I've seen this move video so many times. It like, <laughs> it, it's like taking me back to the supplement store because I have these playing all the time. Yeah. And that right there is where I started. That's how he is. The reason I started cutting my shirts that way. Oh, no kidding. Because I was like, Oh, that's really? That's what I want to look like. Yeah. Cause look how he cuts it right to the line of the chest. Lats are wide open. It doesn't quite look the same on me, which is probably why you didn't know that's where I got the idea. <laughs> <laughs> At my 2004. Absolute peak, it 2004. Never like that. No. All right. Yeah. I no, love... that's the dusty cut. Oof. Yeah. That's where I stole it from right here. You've seen it now. He was such a big dude. Like, just and he's so big. training heavy. He believed in training heavy. Like, wait till you see how heavy oh, yeah. these pull downs are. Oh, yeah. The whole Jeez, stack. Two plates on the stack. That's two plates two on the stack. Two plates on the stack. <laughs> two plates on the stack. That Those guy are who's heavy spotting pull downs, him. You can tell. I feel like That's that guy wife. who's spot. Oh, it's a. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't see, I couldn't see. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. All I saw was an arm. I saw like a That's Jack Darm. I can't remember. I saw a Jack Darm. That's all I saw. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Jeez. Jeez. Just, here's what I was going to say, though. Monetized. Here's what I was going to say, though. That's her right there. She that's is her. absolutely jacked. She is oh, absolutely jacked. She was freak. But next to a guy <laughs> that size, like you can't look, like nobody could look big <laughs> next to him. Right. That's her yeah, in no. the background right now. Yeah. yeah. Dude, she's freaking Huge. crazy looking too. Yeah, they're both crazy looking. This was quite the era. Oh, this was like look at the control he was, has in that row. Yeah, he he does stuff heavy. He trains really heavy, but he does stuff like this too. You know, yeah, where he's like really putting himself in a a place where he has to force the back to do the work. You know, I mean, how much does that dumbbell weigh, Ron? What did that look oh, like to it's you? Like it's at least a one twenty. Yeah, think. I mean, right. So, you that know, super, is. super strict. But he was humongous. I also, I also love those smaller German gyms. Like, I've been to a few of those like that where, like, the ceiling is low and it's like a bunch yeah. of little rooms. Um, and when you're making noise, like, it feels like you might wake up your grandmother who's sleeping in the other room. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, look at her delts. I remember the seated cable row scene. The stack is like five feet tall. He's doing the whole stack. Right. Boom, boom. It looks I like he's like... He's pulling that as fast as he can right now. You know what yep. I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's pulling. He's accelerating, trying to drive that elbow back. That's a violent pull for those yeah. who are worried I, about that. I like the way he trains. She Dude, just, just one-hands it. Up, by the way. Yeah, right? <laughs> She just one hands it. Half that, curls that it up. Guy that he's training with, as Scott said. <laughs> yeah, all I can see was oh, an so arm at that? the time. How big is that one? What's the number on that dumbbell? It would probably be a kilo number. So it probably says like, I don't know, 80 or something on it. Yeah. Did you see the number? Was there a number on there? We'll see. I'll show it again. Show it again. Yeah. 
You can be moving it too fast for us to notice. Oh yeah, that's got to be at least that's got to be a one fifty at least one two three four five six seven eight eighty. So eighty kilos, it's like one hundred and sixty plus pound, one hundred seventy five pound dumbbell, something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's an eighty kilo. One seventy six. So that's a one seventy six pound dumbbell. That's pretty strict for one seventy five pound dumbbell. <laughs> right? Yes. Damn. He's touching his pec. He's like bringing it right up and hitting his hitting his chest and his uh, ribs. By the way, we had one guy who was so upset that we were talking over the video. I mean, that's what we're doing here. But if you guys wanted to watch the original, I'll uh, I'll link it in the description. <laughs> there so we you, go. You know. He's like, why are these morons talking? I'm trying to watch this video. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> she so never went. Remember when you used to get a movie and you could watch it with the director's commentary on it? Yes. Yes. And I would do that sometimes if the movie was really good. I'd be like, oh, I want to hear what the director yeah. has to say about this. And there was some great... I, I watched a couple of movies. I remember I watched Tropic Thunder. Yeah. The whole movie. I immediately watched it with Ben Stiller, Jack Black, and Robert Downey Jr. talking over the whole movie. <laughs> it's on the DVD. It was amazing. Yeah. You watched the movie twice. So this back is the back. Cool. this is the non director's cut. This is just yeah. <laughs> three random dudes talking about the movie. Fast forward a bit. You want to see the cable rows? I think it's the last exercise he does. All right, let's see. He's here. just crazy. Da, da, da. He oh, lifts some heavy today. weights here. Yeah, yeah. Right here. Yeah, I think okay. it's right at the end here. Right at he's, the end of the back workout. Look at that film quality too. Oh yeah. He's humongous. The thickness from the front to back is absolutely frightening. No, yeah. He was just, he was truly a mass monster. He's still big today, too, you know? Yeah, yeah like just by default. Down from that. It was crazy when we were at Germany uh, with Mutant that he had a line that was just wrapped around his booth. There were so many people, like, there were, you couldn't get over there. There was like a crowd of people around him. Yeah. I remember my friend Frank. Uh, my my German buddy Frank. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he said that like Marcus has kind of become a meme again. Like he had this cultural resurgence with all these memes that he's in, that are in right. German. You know, like he's the you That's know like crazy. it could be for anything. Could be like you know when the guy at work annoys you and it's a picture of Marcus's face. Like it yeah, could be like un bodybuilding, but <laughs> he's getting used. You know, these friggin' rows, the whole monster stack plus a plate on it. He's huge, I, man. How likely are you to snap a, that cable, I wonder? I was going to say, it's a bit of a jinx to know what those cables can hold. Yeah. Because there's been plenty of times <laughs> I've been pulling on a weight, and I'm like, so when this pops, I'm going to actually somersault off the back of this. What's behind me? Yeah. Like, oh, this is the greatest scene in the whole you movie. You can't even right see here, his face way. in this video quality right now. You can't this is it's a terrible upload. Yeah. This is well, funny. Well, they stole it, so... Yeah, those are, those are those little rices they have there. That's very annoying, by the way. You guys should just do them like twenty pounds, like they do in the states. Um. <laughs> Is this the movie where he's smoking in the parking lot? Yeah, yes. right after this, gonna, when he okay, leaves, we're gonna get to see that. Yeah. All right. I like how he does nothing. He just leans on the cart. <laughs> well, he. You remember that the, when they're walking out uh, and she's unloading it into the trunk? He goes, "I bet you can do it faster." <laughs> <laughs> While he's just sitting there smoking a marble red or whatever. <laughs> yeah. This made grocery shopping feel cool. You know what I mean? Then when I would be reaction. in the grocery store after watching these movies, I felt like I was like Jay or somebody, you know, you're walking around in your big baggy clothes. And you know, this right, was you... back before people walked around filming everything. So if you right. saw someone filming in the grocery store, you just kind of didn't know what to do. No, like, you oh, might get kicked out. On? I remember John Meadows show? getting kicked out of a grocery store for filming one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ask you to leave. <laughs> I got in trouble for filming uh, Sean and Drea in a, in a convenience store. They walked up to me and they shook their head. And they're like, you can't do that. You're not allowed to do that in here. You can't f publicly film. And I felt really scared like I was breaking some German rules. Like I might, <laughs> I might get in some real trouble. I was going to say, right, 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 right. Yeah. We'll just it's take your phone away overseas. and throw you in a jail. Right, exactly. <laughs> you know, you never film again. The European way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. All right, here's the scene. He's like, he's like, that's her shit. Let's <laughs> cut forward here. I'm going to turn is. this up, too. Listen. All right, hold on. We'll turn this up for this. Look at this lady. 
Yeah. <laughs> that look. That look at her face. Is she about to barf? German cars and American cigarettes. Look at the hat on his giant head. I want to see him get in that CL. Yeah. Or <laughs> Oh, that's right. He's going to go to Burger King. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, I forgot about the Burger King. Oh, there. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> I love seeing what he looks like just sitting at the booth. Oh, and then they go like to the racetrack, remember? Oh, they damn. They watch like the races. I forgot all this stuff. Did you guys ever do the roll your shirt sleeves up thing? No, no. Um, yeah, I would have, I would have touched that era a little bit. Maybe just flip them up one roll, like just you know a nicer spot on the arm or something. I had a powerhouse gym T-shirt when I was like fourteen, and I would roll the sleeves up because like, it was the thing to do, and that way people knew that I was you know a bodybuilder. You know? Oh yeah, <laughs> let them Let's know guns. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> let them know and eat and eating out again. So it's like we'll assume his third meal in the day that he's eating at a restaurant. He had Burger yeah. King. And then he had dinner, and now they're having a second dinner. <laughs> the amount of fanny packs in this video is amazing. That's all I have to say. That poor elevator. He's, I got stuck yeah, in the Olympia. Be he's careful. like, he's like three thirty there, easy. Oh yeah. Oh, There's yeah. no way he's not. This is the racetrack. See. Okay. That look has come back. That shirt. I've seen James oh, yeah. Holland's head with that look. A lot of guys with that look. Yeah. That was like the no limits thing, right? It's good. Yeah, those are great. Yeah, he's just eating some food in the in the pit. A little peck bounce that blows them that blows their mind if you're not in the game and don't know everyone can do that. It's amazing. Um, <laughs> Be three thirty pound bodybuilder, you just stop everything. You get people in the grocery store freaking out. They invite you down into the pit. You get to flex with all the people racing. Remember that shirt, that Metroflex shirt, the yeah. kick ass on the back. It's such a good. Hey. Day. You got it. You got to. You got to go to the leg workout now. Okay. So that shoulders is good. There. Shoulders is good, but All the right. leg workout at timestamp I gave you there. I can't remember. All right. Let me see where that's at. Give me just Old a second. Old school guys. Viking press with a. The Viking press is pretty cool, actually. If you want to watch yeah. that part, we could do that. But uh, let's bring it up there. We'll go to the, yeah, yeah. Let's hear them. All right. Here's legs. All right. I always think USA these are bandana because you you know those benches. You know how big that leg press is and how big he looks in it. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> like Can we bring that look, yeah. the do-rag look back? You think we get you do that? Happily. You bring it back. Nah, that's I'll all right. Help you. I'll help you. You help? All I'm right. The, I'm not doing the red, white, and blue one though. It's no. <laughs> it's so he, too much. He does the craziest leg presses in this video. He does like maximum overload where he's got his hands on his knees like that. He puts way too much weight on the press. And then he's like, you can Spotting see his pecs himself. and triceps are just like cranking out reps at the end. But the full body, the movement. load, the load is humongous when he gets it filled up. And when I turn to bro. And I see all these other bodybuilders, they have so great, perfect legs. Who's that smoking, breathing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this video has no justice to how big his legs are. <laughs> like none. The last couple of years I can't make any more regular squats. Because I can't bring the barbell anymore in my neck. Uh. Because my shoulders are too massive. <laughs> so I changed the squats into front squats. And That's when you know you're too big. big. That's when you know you're huge when you can't do squats anymore because you I become too big. The same weights, but it was not important when you make front squats to do this pretty heavy. Very important do rag placement. <laughs> yeah. It, the do rag makes his head look even smaller. You know what I mean? Right. 
which makes his shoulders look even wider. And I guarantee you his dome is ginormous. It's just how wide he is. Yeah. Oh, he's humongous. That's a little help to how big the legs are right there. <laughs> it's very important when you make like press that you make the whole weight. And you bring down the weight the whole way. You look at the packs. Yeah. Really curious to me. It's like the only pro I ever saw put his hands on his knees like that. Huh. And it's crank like the first out. thing you tell clients not to do. No. Yeah. The hand it's up. like rule number one. Do but then Marcus yeah. does it and you're like, well, he's well, Marcus Rule. So there's that. I, I mean. <laughs> what did you just say? I was going to say I have some problems. Let's hear what he said there. I just rolled it back. This is the same set. My head is growing when I drain left. I have some problems. I can oh, understand it. I think he's talking either. about why he's got his hands on his uh, uh, knees. Gassed. Yeah. Just, I can't imagine training in a completely silent gym, by the way. No? Like, just yeah. hearing myself breathe like that. Oh, man. No, nah, give me a little give me a little sound of some sort. I don't care what it is, just make it loud. No pain, no gain. Right above the leg press. That's funny. That's good. I, I like this place too. This is my kind of gym right here. I'm good with the no the no sound. I could deal with that. You know what you couldn't though, Scott? Because there's gonna be someone in, in there talking about <laughs> politics. Or oh whatever. yeah. I need I to drown them away out from you and you're like, no, 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 no. You're right. Because I was going to say, I do that at home sometimes. No music or anything. I just train by myself. Oh, no, that's quiet. fine. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'll do that like partially through a workout. I'll have my headset and I just take them out and I'm fine. I'm like, all right, that's too loud in my ears now. Dude, look at the size of him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like absurd. She disappears behind him and she's right. 210. That's what I'm saying. She's freaking Jack, but you really can't appreciate how big she is compared to the size of him, you know? You put a normal human next to her and you're like, oh, right. got it. That's 18 inch arm. I had no idea. It's like because I do the podcast with you guys, everybody we've met at any of the expos, you're like, oh, you're a lot bigger than I thought you were. Because I'm sitting next to two guys that were pro bodybuilders that have been 300 plus. You guys are huge. <laughs> You know, and right. like I'm not big by any means, but I'm bigger than your average guy. People don't yeah, see it at all. Bigger. <laughs> Look at this the way he's doing those, man. It just blows me away. Yeah. I mean, he's driving hard. After workout, I put on my, my belt. And after every heavy set, I check my belly button. If he's still in or if he's coming <laughs> he, out again. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's one reason why I played so bad in 2001 in Vegas. Oh. Because it looks stupid on stage when a belly button comes out so much. <laughs> Talking about yeah. his hernia? Yeah, if yeah. I don't have a hernia, I know I'm good for my next set, you know? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to check every set and make sure it's still in. Okay, I'm good to go. <laughs> I think they call the Mahi. Make sure yeah. he's still in. Yeah. <laughs> I wish he spoke German. <laughs> Still in. He's good. We're good. <laughs> he made it through this funny. workout. That is amazing. Just make sure, I just make sure every day I don't blow my waist out. <laughs> He's funny. If you have not seen this full Made in German video, you have to watch it. It's fantastic. Yeah, this is amazing. I think the one I watched had subtitles on it, or was he yeah, voicing it, it over? It I can't remember. No, it, it, it had subtitles. Yeah, you know, all the this places that probably see the German version. Oh, he's still going harder. He's still got more. Probably took everybody's plates. Yeah, yeah. No one in that gym has plates. Look, he's walking across the gym. There's a guy waiting to finish his benching set right now. Yeah. He just took his plates. <laughs> She looks like she's dieting for something. She's shredded. Oh, yeah. Oh, she was nasty slice in that video. 
That's a lot of plates. How many plates is that? Damn. Oh, it's probably had, like, the knee rats for these. He's probably had a 10 minute rest at least. It's very important that you do this. See, Scott, see, Ron, I'm not the only one. <laughs> 10 minute rest. Ron thinks I'm done. I'm like, no, no, we're just between sets. Yeah. <laughs> Are you moving any faster now, Dusty? That you're uh, you're on the the diet train. Uh, well, I'm moving quicker because I'm training with her, but that'll ah. slow down here or there. On okay. deadlifts and stuff, I, I get to slow it down since uh, she's gonna pull some weight now, so she'll want the rest too. That was Ron, a good does, first day, by the way. <clears throat> does this run? Does yeah. this make you want to get big again? You feel you look at this. Is there any part of you that's like, damn, I wish I was three hundred pounds? No, he's right listening now. to him breathe. Yeah, Ron hasn't breathed like <laughs> yeah. that in freaking four years. <laughs> No, I often think about how crazy what I did was. Yeah. And how crazy we were and how like, you know, how we we were like so on a mission. Like when this video came out, I remember getting the DVD. I borrowed it off my buddy. And I was like, you know, it's like, what are you doing tonight? Oh, I'm watching Rule for two hours. Like yeah. that's yeah. like that's all I'm doing, man. Like that's the plan. You know, 29 years old, <laughs> watching Rule. This is funny. Bam. Just load it up. So there's 10 plates on each of the bottom pegs. So like 17 plates a side? Yeah, something like that. So like 32 plates, 34 plates on the press? That's a lot of weight. It's no bullshit. I mean, no. I give so much respect for the heavy leg pressers because I just have a fear of a leg press, like with my hip flexors and stuff going deep. So I'm always doing like sets of 30. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'd never go crazy heavy. I'll do like 12, 13 plates a side and just rep it out. I'm not trying to do 10 reps. That's crazy to me. I think of all the heavy leg pressing I did, like all the like six to 10 rep leg pressing I did. Yeah. And it was like, like, I'm like, oh man, like just get under it and just cross your fingers and start repping. It is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Plus your, your reps though. I mean, like I, that's one thing I, people are always amazed at when we, when they come to the booths is they realize that Ron's significantly, like I had somebody ask the other day, like who's taller, you or Ron? I'm like, are you serious? Yeah. They don't realize. <laughs> yeah. Like four or five inches taller than I am. <laughs> that, that range is just a long way with those, that many plates. I hate this machine, by the way, just, Fair announcement. I don't know how anybody loves that thing. No, Ugh. no. Power squatting. I, you mean f facing yeah. inward like that? I don't like any angle for that thing. Facing out is even worse. I'm like, my body is just like, what are we doing? It doesn't. Oh, I don't mind. Uh, we have the Atlantis one, and I'll face out, but I'll put bands uh, bands up to the handles, so there's more tension at the top. So it kind of changes the strength curve. It doesn't get so light at the top. The okay. problem with right. that machine is it gets so light at the top sometimes. Mm. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, especially when you're facing inward like that, it gets yeah, really light yeah. at the top. I see all these girls at the gym using it, and there's like no tension on the top third at all. It's just so light. Yeah, they got four plates aside. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you got to band it or something. What's it that you know? I always find it fascinating when you see like a German guy who's like American cigarettes, USA bandana, you know, the platinum everywhere shirt, but he's German. It's but like, Roman Fritz could answer that one for us. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. He's Roman, probably Roman very would know. good. His brother. He probably has a deep cultural reason. He's probably like, well, you know, it has to do with American exceptionalism through the decade of the seventies and eighties, <laughs> or something like that. And he would. <laughs> I was Remember thinking Roman more along was, lines of no one else has people fat enough to make six XL shirts. Yeah, right. There right, you go. right, right. <laughs> Americans have plenty of fat people that need these shirts. So there we go. <laughs> Look how wide he is. I know I keep saying it, but like, yeah, it's just how cool. wide is a is a leg extension, and he's wider than it. So that's a <laughs> weird leg extension. It's got it's plate loaded, but it looks really difficult. Like he's that's a unique she's pushing machine. Down too. Yeah, she's pushing she's down on resistance on, on the negative. So he's popping it up, and then she's driving it down. No wonder they broke up. She's mean. <laughs> <laughs> His neck, just no head club, no neck club, no yeah. neck club. Oh, yeah. 
And now she stopped pushing and he's repping out now, right? Which yep. is usually the other way. People people yeah, will get yeah. some sort of assistance at the end or, you know, to intensify yeah. the end of the set. German way. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. And I want to think, try that extension now. Yeah. And to think that he was, uh, he hit those heavy, heavy leg presses first, right? Yeah. Like, I would think personally that I would finish with that heavy leg press, but that's just getting his workout started. Yeah, I always like to yeah, finish with uh, extensions, too. Oh, God, he can barely walk. Yeah. Now we're going to hams, by the way. <laughs> yeah. So not a ton of sets. Just did yeah. a whole bunch of pressing and some some extensions. Maybe, who knows, maybe, and they did that power squat machine. I didn't see how many plates were on it, though. Did, I don't think a ton. I don't think he went super crazy with it. So he gets that big, heavy exercise, and then, and I don't even know, it doesn't look like a lot of work sets either, you know? No. But you Which would film, make yeah. sense. Like, you know, how everyone who was really huge was training at that point in time. Yeah. You know, he needs someone to hold his, he needs someone to <laughs> put their hands right under the, the edge of yeah, his you glutes. Really get in there. That's why he doesn't, the that's thumbs why he's not doing right that, into the right? crack and push his hips down. Yeah, he needs it. He needs a good <laughs> trainer to assist him. Yeah. More touching, more touching. You guys have to there watch the podcast to understand that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, am I making uh, cross? I'm making cross episode jokes now. Sorry about that, yeah, Scott. That's all right. That's all right. Yeah, the, the, the cross episode jokes. The followers <laughs> that, that watch all the stuff, they'll be happy for that. They'll enjoy that. Yeah, they'll yeah. appreciate Some the nod gotta, to the podcast. There's motivation to pay attention and not miss episodes. Yeah. <laughs> he kind of looks like the lead singer Duran Duran sometimes. Yeah. Except like <laughs> massive. He was that yeah. big. If he was, yeah. <laughs> I don't remember him being 330, but okay. No, a little a little bit different from the face down, yeah. <laughs> I just like the frosted tips. I mean, that kind of gives you a hint on the the, the year. Right. Yeah. Right. He's listened, listening to Stained on the way to the gym. Maybe some Limp Biscuit. <laughs> right? You know what I mean? He's playing some Absolutely. new metal. Absolutely. Definitely. So is this in a basement? I saw somebody come down the stairs. Looks like yeah. a basement gym I, to me. I've had I've had people give me the uh, information for that gym. It's still around. Yeah. Um, and they're like, "Oh, this is where Marcus did most of his training. You should go check it out." But I just haven't made it there yet. Okay. But I would okay. love I would love to go check it out one day. Yeah. If it's anything like it was then, it looks like a great gym. That was good. Yeah, it was great. Marcus, what a still beast! The that was a good find, was Ron. Great. Still the biggest guy I ever saw. I think yep. like yeah. Yeah. when it comes to how much muscle mass was on his body, like Greg Kovacs was the biggest bodybuilder I ever saw when he was 400 pounds. And, and I mean, I saw Trevor Smith back in the nuclear nutrition oh. days when he was 400 pounds and he had the long braids that he had when, right before he died. Mm -hmm. But, but those guys weren't pro bodybuilders in that respect. Like I know Greg no. was pro, but not when he was 400 pounds, he didn't look like a pro. Right. Mm -hmm. And, and, uh, but Marcus at, at three, what was he 352 or whatever i did the math he told me he was 150 some kilos when i saw him and it was like 350 and and uh and he was man out of control he was purple he definitely had a purple color i remember my girlfriend shoes going on there i remember my girlfriend was like he's really like red like he looks hot yeah. And I'm like, yeah, that's probably part of it. <laughs> he, <laughs> There's another part we're not going to get into right now. He had one of those new tricks. Remember when he was with new tricks? He had one of those football jerseys on. Oh, said, yeah. New tricks. And I remember he was at the booth signing and I was talking to him and he looked like he had football pads on. Like he looked like yeah. he had football pads under his jersey. Like it was really <laughs> funny to me because I know what... I, I played ball, so I'm like, man, that's how it looks on a like a, a suited up kid, like yeah, a high yeah. school kid with his pads on, looks like that in his football Way jersey. Smaller. Yeah, yeah, he's just humongous, humongous, biggest, biggest bodybuilder I ever saw off season. You know, when your arms are stretching a football jersey, like a four XL football jersey. Yeah, the yeah. Nutrix logo is like kind of deformed on it. <laughs> when he bends his arm to sign stuff, it like stretches the logo on the sleeve. It's like out of control. <laughs> okay. So that's another episode of It's Just Bodybuilding Reacts. Scott, 
Let's see the shirt one more time. Oh, yeah. So we're working on these guys. They're coming along. We're I'll keep you posted. Them. I have to wear it for a day. I have to wash it. I have to wear it. I have to wash it. And we'll see it's how dry things. It. Yes. I'm going to throw it in the dryer and all that. And we're doing Put some, some rocks in with it. Gravel it up. Yeah. 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 I'm sure. Yeah. I'm doing some, <laughs> we're doing some research and development, guys. Drink it behind the car. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And we'll let you know. And when they are ready, we will unleash them to the world. Yes. Yes. Hey, you guys will be the first okay. to know. Looking forward to it. Um, we're just going to let all the money accumulate in Scott's account until it gets ridiculous. And then Dusty and I will be like, hey, um, <laughs> all the like a little from the shirts. Like just all the money. Bit. I'll be like, yeah, yeah, get, yeah, your free shirt. I'll get your free shirt, guys. <laughs> Got to be driving a Bentley, <laughs> yeah. find a new house. <laughs> like, how many shirts do we sell? Oh, just a few, like a couple <laughs> dozen, many? not really worth it. If, if I sent you a PayPal transfer, it cost me more than you'd make, yeah. you know? I'm wearing like gold glasses and I got a grill. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy's whole nother. He's like, no, it's just the Dave Crossland shirt's been selling really yeah. well. <laughs> <laughs> it was a hit. It just, it went viral. Yeah, yeah. it happens. Yeah. It happens. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Thanks, guys. Uh, remember, everybody, like, share, subscribe, comment, and ring the bell. It's just bodybuilding reacts. Remember, I am mutant.com, Dusty 20, Big Run 20. Get your ISO surge, get your all in pre workout, and everyone should get on the gear. Mutant hardcore supporters of the show. Thank you very much. Remember, it's just bodybuilding reacts.